Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today we're making a saucy salmon and shrimp recipe, so stay tuned. First, you're going to season your salmon and your shrimp with a sweet and smoky uh, rub. I'll show you that, what that looks like later. And these are our other ingredients. We got baby spinach, the mushrooms, grape tomatoes, Parmesan cheese, garlic that you're going to mince, and heavy whipping cream. Here's your sweet and smoky rub. Then you're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in a pan, in a warm pan, and you're gonna put your salmon in first and let that sear on both sides. You can also put the salmon in an air fryer if that's your type of jazz. Um, I think it'll work just as well. Once the salmon has cooked on both sides, you're gonna take that out and put it on a plate. Um, I put napkins on the plate to drain some of that oil. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the shrimp as well and drink and let that sit on the plate with the salmon just like this then you're going to take that uh take some butter about two tablespoons and let it melt inside the bottom of the pan you want all that juice that was left over from the salmon and shrimp at the bottom of your pan um saute the garlic in that butter first let it kind of get a little bit fragrant and then you're going to add your grape tomatoes and your mushrooms the grape tomatoes you want to let them to start busting before you start adding your flour and you're going to know because they start getting a little Mm, wrinkly is what I like to say. Sprinkle a little bit of badia seasoning on top before we add two forksfuls of self-rising flour. You can use all-purpose flour, whichever flour that you have. And then you're gonna mix that in really well. Now it's time to add the heavy whipping cream after you get that flour mixed in. So heavy whipping cream, you're gonna pour it in to, I didn't measure, I just poured it in. And then you're gonna mix that really well so that you don't have any lumps from the flour. Let that come to a light boil and then add your Parmesan cheese, okay? Whichever Parmesan cheese you like, add it in and mix it in really well and let that come to a full boil. Then turn it down to a simmer before we start adding our spinach. Now baby spinach, a whole container can fit inside this pan even though it doesn't look like it can, a whole container will fit because y'all know spinach shrinks up like natural hair, okay? Once that spinach is inside there, then you're all done with your sauce, let's plate it up. So we got rotini noodles in the bowl, we're gonna put your salmon, your shrimp, and then you're gonna top it with the sauce. And when I tell you voila magic, I mean voila magic. Now, the sauce is even better the second day, so I hope you all give this a try and let it match your dietary lifestyle. If you're not already following me, make sure you follow, hit that like button, and make sure you subscribe. Peace out.